as you can see it's a beautiful day bees are flying <coughs> excuse me Got a little tickliness in the back of my throat here we go with the <coughs> high the top. All right. I may have to get a smoker. They are um, coming at me a little bit. Let me see. My main goal is really just to get these brain, these uh, feeders out of here. Here's the frame, nothing on it. Either side. Definitely up here in this top box. I don't know what they're doing up here. Maybe get ready to store honey up here. Like I said, these bees have been in here for two weeks. Okay, so they're storing nectar in that frame. I don't know if you can see in there. There's nectar in there. A lot of it, so that's good. I'm just gonna pull one more frame up the top here before I pull these feeders out. The feeders have been in there, and I don't want them to start fermenting in there, so it's time to get them out. It doesn't make the bees happy when I drop the frame. Again, full of nectar. Look at those beautiful bees. in the bottom box and show you what that looks like down below. Things are a little agitated today, which is something I haven't experienced with these bees yet. When I installed them, they were nice and calm. And the last inspection I did, they were nice and calm. Now they're just a little agitated. So I'm just gonna put these empty frames in there. The other frame is back where they belong. And then we'll go into the um, bottom of the hive and see how their progress is down below. Uh, being 14 days, I don't expect to see any cat brood yet, but there should be brood that's getting ready to be capped.
go ahead and pull the frame out down here so I got room to work. And of course there's never anything, not in the new hive anyway, on the outside frames. But I like to look just to make sure. frame they're storing nectar in. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. It's just nectar in there. A little pollen. But I don't see any eggs or anything. We'll go on to the next one here. stand corrected. We've got some cap brood. See the cap brood right there? Cap brood on this frame. And nectar and pollen. And quite a bit of uncapped brood. There's some uncapped brood right in here. Hopefully the camera can pick that up. Uncapped brood, cap brood. So that's really good. Put back nice and carefully. Don't agitate them. I just want to look at one more frame in this hive, and then we'll move on to the other hive. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. All that cat brood, all those bees with pollen in their baskets doing the waggle dance. There's still some brood in here that, um, some larvae in here that's not capped yet. But these bees are doing really well. Really well. I am liking what I'm seeing. I'm hoping that you guys can see that too. Look at all that brood. Now, one thing I did when I when I received when I got this package of bees from I, I brought it here and I installed it and it was I admit it was my very first package I ever had had installed so I wasn't too sure what to expect and these are Saskatraz bees which are bred for their docility and their production and their hygienic tendencies to kill varroa and trachea, they're resistant to trachea mites and they're supposed to overwinter really well. And when I installed them, 
first thing I noticed when I took the can out of the package, I noticed that um, that the cans were pretty empty. And uh, and then I um, took the queen cage out and I went to pull the cork out and didn't realize there wasn't a sugar plug in there. And uh, what I but I did notice that I was able to rub the bees off the queen cage. So that, based on the research that I did, told me that uh, that they had already accepted their queen, and the fact that they were in the package so long that they already ate up almost all their sugar. I did what, a, what they call a direct release on both these two hives the day I installed them.